Hello, and welcome back to Sonoran Miniatures. Today I'm working on part 2 of the Tau Remora Drone Stealth Fighters. I'm going to start with Evil Sun Scarlet on all of the parts I want to have that glowing engine effect. I will also apply it to the drone's lenses. Don't worry about it looking a little messy, as it will be corrected in the next step. Next I'm adding one thin coat of Abaddon Black to all of the parts that will eventually paint a metallic color. Black paint is a good background for metallic colors and helps keep down the amount of coats I add later to a minimum. Less coats of paint means less buildup of paint, making for a cleaner look. Here I am going to highlight the recessed panel lines on the model. I'm going to use Abaddon Black again, but this time I'm thinning the paint and 
until it is very watery. Using my thinnest brush, I'm loading the brush tip with the paint and gently touching the recessed lines. The paint is thin enough, it should flow into the lines through capillary action, making the job easier. Thinned out black is also easier to touch up later if I make any mistakes. Next I'm applying 1-2 to two thin coats of lead belcher to the gun barrels, vents, and engine components. It is now time to be delicate when applying paint since metallic paint can be difficult to cover up later. To do this I start by painting the area that borders another paint and then moving into the central part and applying paint liberally.
That's it for now. Please stay tuned for part 3 while I'll apply the last paint details and water slide decals. Thanks for watching Sonoran Miniatures. Please like, comment, and subscribe.